Hey guys, alright, I'm going to be doing May favorites today, and since I haven't been on YouTube in a while, uh, some of the products I've been using for more than just May. So, um, let's get started. I'm going to start with lips. Um, I have been absolutely addicted to Carmex, and I use it every day to moisturize my lips, and this stuff is great, and it has SPF 15 in it, so it's great for the summer, and it's great for when you're at the beach, or just outside to protect your lips from getting sunburned. <clears throat> um, the second product that I've been wearing a lot is <clears throat> the MAC Lipstick in Cherish. Kind of a brownish nude color, but on me it's an exact, it's like the exact color of my lips. So when I put it on it um, evens out my lips and it's a, it's a satin and it's called Cherish. And I absolutely love that one. And I've been wearing Modesty a lot, which is almost the same thing, but it's a little bit darker and a little bit more pink. And on top of those, I've been wearing the lip gloss from the Liberty of London collection in Frankly Fresh. You can't even read that. But um, though, this looks great on top of both of those. And I've also been wearing my Dazzle Glass in Smile. And it's like a pink with some pink and orange glitters in it. And that's what it looks like. Alright, on to eyes. I have been wearing, like, all month this one look with these three eyeshadows. And I'm wearing it right now. And it's um, Expensive Pink which is like a pink that kind of reflects gold. It kind of looks like Cranberry, which is the second eyeshadow I've been wearing. And Cranberry is a frost, and Expensive Pink is a Lux Pearl. So this is Cranberry, and basically Expensive Pink is the same thing, but with gold, gold glitter in it. So I've, I've been wearing these two a lot. I've been wearing Expensive Pink on the lid, Cranberry in the crease, and then... In the outer corner, I've been wearing Satin Taupe, so I've been wearing those three a lot. And they are really different, especially Satin Taupe, it doesn't really go, but it Satin Taupe is a color that blends in really nicely to any color. So it's just to deepen the shadow, especially on my skin tone, it looks amazing. Um, also, I have been wearing the L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Pigment gel eyeliner in black 905 and I have been using this stuff like crazy I don't know if you can even see I wear it every day I'm wearing it right now um, and I wing it out obviously as you can see because I love to wing out my eyeliner so I've been wearing this every day and I absolutely love it I live by it um, a lot of people compare it to the Maybelline one but I think that I like this one better and you get more product out of it so that's that then for uh, mascaras, um, I got the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume about two months ago, and I've been loving this. I never have ever used a drugstore mascara before, but this is crazy. Look at the applicator. It's huge, and it goes on so nicely, and it makes my eyelashes really, really long and really full. So this stuff is amazing. Everyone who lives by it on YouTube, I listen to them and now I live by it. So if you like drugstore products or you really don't want to spend a lot of money on like a very high-end product, this is amazing. Go get it. Then the other one I've been using, um, I'm very surprised about because I don't really live by these, but I got a sample of the MAC Zoom Lash uh, Mascara and I know everybody hates MAC mascaras, but that I was very surprised. I'm wearing it right now, <clears throat> and this is the brush on it. And it makes my lashes really long and separates them really nicely, though. Um, I think I would prefer this over the L'Oreal Telescopic, um, but this one has been really nice, and this one's just in black, zoom black. So that one's pretty good. Also, to finish off eyes, I have been wearing the, what are they, the Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliners from the Art Collection from MAC. 
It's like the art tools collection, and I have them in industrial, petrol blue, and designer purple. And my two favorites are industrial and designer purple, and they look like this. And they are so glittery, not like chunky glittery. They're very bright and pigmented, and I absolutely love them. And that's industrial. They really give you that pop of color, <clears throat> and I love, love, love wearing those. So I have backups of these. I was obsessed when they came out. I've also been wearing the lip pencil in Dervish. Basically the same color as my lips, but it makes it makes them look a lot more fuller. Um, all right, now for face. Um, I've been obviously loving my MSN Mineralized Skin Finish Natural from MAC and mine is in medium deep because I, whoops, I'm getting more tanner as the days go by because I tan very easily so I might even need to go up a shade by the end of the summer. So right now this is my shade um, and I've been using this because it's very light for summer and I don't like to wear a lot of heavy cream foundations. I, that's not me. So that I've been loving. Then also from the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural collection is this bronzer and gold deposit. And I absolutely love this one too. So I'll use it on my cheeks. Um, I don't really use this one to contour though. And I also have used it as an eyeshadow because it's really pretty. I'm wearing it also right now on my lids. So that one's beautiful. And then... I've been using my NARS uh, Blush and Bronzer Duo in Orgasm and Laguna, and I use Laguna, this one, um, to contour my cheeks, and the Blush and Orgasm on my cheeks, and they are gorgeous, so I love those. Also, I have been wearing, Victoria's Secret came out with like this summer collection for makeup and they came out with these two luminous cheek and face highlighters so one of their highlighters and one of them is pink and one of them is brown, um, like a tan like skin color like a nude so this one's pink and this one that one is in desert twilight and then there's this one which is more of like a natural color and this was in golden sands and I've been wearing this one the most as a highlighter on the tops of my cheeks and it's really let me see if I can swatch it that's a lot but you can see there's like a shimmer can you see it it's so nice when you put it on I'll swatch the other one too the other one you can even use as like a blush but it's really shimmery and that one's right underneath of it. It's more pink. So these are really nice. I was really surprised because I've never used like Victoria's Secret makeup before. I didn't really have high expectations for them, but they're actually very nice and they weren't that expensive. So I got both of them because I really like them. Now for nails, I've been wearing Essie's Turquoise and Caicos nail polish a lot from the new like summer collection. And that is what it's called. And then finally, um, all ever since December, I've been using the Freeze 24-7 face products. Um, I had originally been using the Sklin Glossé and the Moisturizer. And now, I already went through a tube of this, and now I've got it in the pot form. And I love it. I wear it every day. I can't believe I'm already on my second one of them. But I'm still on my first... Um, cleanser and then I've also been starting to use the exfoliant that comes with the set and this makes your skin feel like butter it is amazing so those three I live by I'll probably be using them forever <clears throat> and I love them so those are my main favorites that I've been using and now that I'm back up on YouTube uh, you should be expecting some more videos from me in the future so I hope you guys are having a great summer if you have summer yet. If not, you're almost there, and it's going to be great. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.